Hi guys, my name is Nick and this is Nick Creation Channel. So what do you think about my previous video regarding Ethermon NFT game? If you haven't watched it, so I am putting it here in the upper right corner. And then let me give you an update about their incoming sale and other potential opportunities plus the game demo. <coughs> Alright, so let's have a recap of the game and we will have more time on this. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to log in here with my whitelisted account with them. So it's good that they have this like OTP code that you will receive via email. So it adds some security for your account. Put it there and then you can log in. While it's loading, so the game is using WebGL, short for Web Graphics Library, which is a JavaScript API for rendering interactive 2D and 3D graphics within any compatible web browser without the use of plugins. And that's the reason why we can play that on the browser. So here we are seeing the AFK feature, wherein even if you're away from the keyboard, you can still, you know, get coins and level up your eater mons so this feature has been created so that players who are busy and cannot be in the game constantly can still level up their eater mons and they won't be left behind with the other players so here we can see my level and then you can click this and once you've collected the 120 coins per minute and 90 experience per minute with a max of 12 hours so you'll be able to get that so the next thing that we can check are the breathing so it's already here so this is under development and progressing and then we have the pvp button here which is still coming soon and then for the monsters so you can see it here and as mentioned you can select the formation that you want depending on the plus sign where you will put your monsters or ethermon you can also sort them based on the rank the level and the element and then there is a quest button which is still coming soon and then for the inventory so there are items here related to helmet weapon armor boots and gem so you will see that in the future there's also an email here where you can get announcements from the dev team and then here is the settings for their social media accounts the language music and sound so now we go to the world map so the world map is where they are going to create the the games within the game so looking at this picture as well the islands that they are building will be crucial for the war guilds that they will be building other than that, they will be creating metaverse which will include the Eater Mon, the Eater Fishing, and the Eater Garden. Imagine if they can pull off all of these projects within their environment, then they will have a lot of utilities for their tokens. So going back to the game, since all other islands are still disabled, so we can go here. And then when you open an island, there are leveling. So level 1 to 10 for the green road and then reverse side for level 11 to 20 and then so on so my assumption is in every level that you're getting advanced with so the difficulty is also getting higher and it requires stronger ether mods so we can go here again and test it so as mentioned from the previous video so we have advanced to the level 4 and then you can change the the difficulty here and this one it's already updated so this could be related to the coins that you are unlocking but we will know more about it later on but for now let's open this so this will be the formation of your team and the enemy and then you can change the setup here and then you can fight so once it is loading you can speed up or slow down your game and it is already simulated so before we cannot click this setting and until now we cannot do that and then if you will click this map then it will just bring you back to the map that we saw er earlier so if you want to move to the next level you just need to click next but if not so you can go back to the home so it will automatically go here so at the upper right you can see the energy 
These are needed to overcome the obstacles and it will only be restored after a certain period of time. And as you can see here, we need to consume the energy before the restoration which is currently lapsing at almost 3 hours. Here you can see that Ethermon is a play to earn but the dev team wants to make it different. That's why they are introducing the skill to earn. Therefore, when you play the game, you need to participate in PvP and be aware of the abilities of your Ethermon. Of course, you need to be aware of the leveling and the rank of your Ethermons. So the purpose is to separate the power between the ranks level or the rare rate and it also represents the value of Ethermon with pluses in the right direction of Ethermon's build. So as mentioned, in order to earn a lot of rewards compared to the PvE that we've seen earlier, you need to play well in this PvP. So you need to have a good Ether team and a bit of, you know, tactical calculation, squad arrangement, and elements as well. This game focuses on play to trade and trade to earn. So beside from earning from the PvE, PvP, you can earn through breeding, creating new Ethermons or Ethers and selling them on the marketplace. So if you're gonna do buy and sell, auction and renting, then you can also get something from it. We have to take note that the Ethermon project will only sell 3,500 boxes for players to open the Ether Mons and then later on you can only get that through the other players that will be doing breeding or spawning. So in order to earn more and take the advantage for this game, it is advised that you should probably join the game early and own this Ethermon boxes which is only limited to 3,500 boxes. So right now, their marketplace has been updated. Before, they have sold around 500 ultimate boxes. But in one day and 21 hours, and to be exact on March 3 or tomorrow, the second and final box sale with a quantity of 3,000 boxes, which includes 2,000 boxes for the common box and 1,000 boxes for the ultimate box will be sold to their early payers. Take note that the price of the common box will be 49 BUSD. So this will be around 2,500 pesos. And then the ultimate box will be around 149 BUSD, which will be around 7,500 pesos. So one box can have three Ether Mons or Ethers. So you can do your math here. So for example, for the 7,500 pesos, um, divided by 3. So 1 Ether or Ethermon will be 2,500. And then for the common box, you can uh, buy 1 Ether for 833 pesos. So in US dollars, so $17 for 1 Ether for the common box and $50 for one eater from the ultimate box so if you will go back to their pitch deck we can see here that they are fully doxed here and they have a really big team if you're gonna watch my first review on them like I, I go on all of their details as a company and then their advisors are here as well and they are fully supported by partners they are even certic audited project so it means that they have money to invest for the security and risk assessments so they can be a project for long term all right so when you buy the ultimate and common box the difference between that there will be different probabilities for the drop rate of the ranks of the eater mods so for example for the ultimate box the possibility is that you'll be getting 25% for the N rank. For the R rank will be 45%. SR will be 29.9%. And then the SSR will be 0.1%. But for the common box, it will be 70% for the N. 25% for the R. 5% for the SR. While for the SSR, you will not have a chance to get this rank so take note as well that ultimate box can open ether with mutant element but this common cannot have it 
For example, the Windora dinosaur in Ethermon has the original element of fire. However, if you open the ultimate box, you have the ability to get water type Windora or thunder type. So there will be no chance for the original element of a certain Ethermon. Another update about the ability system. So Eaters can have random attribute points each time they level up so if you own an attack oriented eater and then when you level up and if the attribute points are all added to the attack that will be great for your eater mon however if the attribute points are distributed to other attributes like for example defense or health you might need to have a new eater because because if this happens the above feature can completely make a low rank eater more valuable than the high rank eater so guys going back to the reproductive system so their breeding term is called spawning and we have to take note as mentioned earlier that their marketplace will only sell 3000 boxes so that includes ultimate and common box and then after that you can only buy the eater mons by breeding or spawning it means that if you are an early adopter and you have this genesis boxes or let's say the second sale of the boxes then you will be one of the breeders or let's say spawner and if this will be a popular game then you can earn as well and in order to do this breeding the conditions are you have to have two eater of the same rank so we talked about the ranks earlier and you should have one male and one female also you need to level up your eater mon so you need to have a minimum level of 50 and then we need to ensure that they have spawn counts left so we can do further spawning or breeding all right so these are all the updates that eater mon wants to share to the community and if you have any further questions don't forget to put that in the comments section if you have any questions please don't hesitate to put that in the comment section below and if you like this video click that subscribe button in the notification bell so that you will be updated with our new nft game review remember to stick on your investing plan and only invest what you can afford to lose thanks for watching and see you on my next video bye